Guess what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna act one. Guess what episode 14 is? You'll never guess, so I'll tell you. Mega, mega, mega candy, candy, candy. Oh my god, you guys. Um, look, don't get all mad at me because I know that there hasn't been a Looks Not Books in a couple of weeks. Don't get all mad because I totally told you back in the day, a couple of days ago, that it wasn't going to be every week. Um, so don't send like hate mail to Broadway.com. The ratio that there wasn't one is because um, there hasn't been a lot going on here. <laughs> uh, except for Plague Adieu. Another plague. People like <laughs> all over. Poops! A poop, a poop, a peep, a puke, and poops! A puke, and poops, and poops! We've got the poops and pukes! It was a nightmare, nightmare! See ya! Let me tell you, you guys sent in so many questions that we're going to have a two-part candy, a candy, a two-part candy, yeah. So this week is part one, questions for the queen. All me this week. And then the next episode, I'll uh, go to questions with those other people that are in the show. More me, of course, and then other people. Um, and also, I'm gonna show you our one year anniversary party. Yay! We had a bowling party for our Matilda one year anniversary and um, a lot of the old maggots came. So it's super fun. So that'll be part two, part two. But for part one, all me. I'm moving with my Mmm. Mmm. You guys, I have eaten so many cookies because of the anniversary because we got so many that I, I swear to you, I've probably gained about 20 pounds. And so maybe I should just look into the camera and see how many double chins I can get. But then I think if I, if I put this on, then you know that like Broadway.com is going to use that as their screen cap for like this episode. Broadway beauty. <laughs> <laughs> Mega Q&A, uh, I got questions off the twits, I got questions off the Instagrammies, uh, which was very exciting. Um, don't, don't also like panic if your question wasn't answered because I'll have so many outtakes that we'll do another outtake episode. So anyway, so let's go. Sorry. Episode 14, 14, 14. Dun -dun 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 14! You guys, I wrote another song and I am awesome. I just. I'm so amazing. Candy! 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 Chocolate cashew. Eat it. Do you want it? Really eat it. Eat the cashew! So, let's go. Mega candy, candy, candy. Away! I need to clean this costume. Queen Leslie, why are you playing Mrs. Wormwood on the West End? Because I'm here? Hi. Did you know that the original Mrs. Wormwood on the West End in Matilda was named Josie? That's my name. My name's Leslie. Congratulations. Who is your favorite Matilda you have worked with so far? It's really hard to pick, but my favorite Matilda had to be... I mean, she was amazing. Like, no one will come close to her. I can't imagine you not being popular in high school, but were you? Of course, of course I was. <laughs> I was actually the homecoming queen. I'm not even kidding. I was the homecoming queen. Hi. It's too much. It's just too much. 
If you could be in a Star Wars film, which one would it be and who would you be? Um, it's really hard to pick. I love all the Star Wars films. Um, I would probably be in Return of the Jedi. Not because it's it's my favorite. It's not my favorite. Empire Strikes Back is my favorite. But I would probably um, be like the replacement for Sice Noodles, who is the um, lead singer of the band at Jabba the Hutt's Palace. And she has, like, amazing heels. And she's like, Except her legs are totally skinny and mine aren't. Did you find that living in London for so long helped you with your British accent? You nail it as Mrs. Wilmer, duh. Um, yeah, it actually, it did because I spent uh, almost two years there and just watched all their TV shows, shows, shows. Um, so I think it probably did, um, I guess, but yeah. What's your favorite thing to do on your day off? My favorite thing to do is to go um, to Squirrel Kingdom also known as Central Park, with Mr. Stewie. We usually make a day of it. We go to Bed Bath & Beyond so he can ride around in the cart and go up and down on the elevators. We have to go round and round and round. Literally, he'll bark. Like, if I don't go round enough times, he'll... And then we go to Squirrel Kingdom uh, so that he can terrorize the squirrels. If you could have a superpower, what would it be? Ah, uh, I'm already a super bitch. If you were to play any other character in Matilda, who would it be and why? Um, nobody. Hi. I play me. I play the best character. Why would I? I would never change. What was the absolute worst mishap you've ever had? I'm assuming you mean on stage. Um, the worst mishap I ever had was actually in London. Um, it's a super, super serious part where, um, I die. <laughs> And I'm laying dead on the stage, center stage, of course, laying dead. And a mouse from the side of the stage, because the theaters, you guys are so old in London. I'm not even shitting you. A mouse ran right across from me, dead. And I went like this. <laughs> are you still accepting questions for the Q&A? Do you know how good of friends my friend and I would be with you? It's like we speak the same crazy language. Maybe you're just crazy. Have you seen Gabe since he left? Yes. Where do you and Robert go on your first date? Um, hi, an Italian restaurant in Forks. <laughs> when you are done with your pink sparkly shoes, can I have them? No. If you were in Into the Woods on Broadway, what role would you play? Hi, come on, the witch. Does your voice ever get strained from yelling so much in the show? If so, how do you cope? Love you. Um, no, it, it really doesn't unless I'm totally sick. And I had really good teachers growing up and just kind of learn how to kind of speak mix. Once I figured it out, it's totally fine. And really the only time I lose it is when I'm sick. And when I'm sick, I don't cope well anyway, so it doesn't matter. Where do you keep your Olivier Award and what was going through your mind when you received it? Uh, let's see, here it is on my bar and it is next to um, one of Stewie's toys that has stuffing coming out of the head. Just thought that was appropriate. And if you guys have seen it on YouTube, my acceptance speech, you can tell that I was like in shock. Idiot. I'm so excited, I'm sorry, I'm American. What is your favorite scene of Matilda that you are not in? I don't know, because I don't pay attention to the other scenes that I'm not in. They're not important. My friend and I have been arguing if your eyelashes are purple or blue. They're blue. 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 If you could play any role of the opposite gender, what would it be? Why do I want to be in a man's role? They don't have sparkles. Blech. Just realize the riff you sing in Looks Not Books episode 5 is from Wicked Defying Gravity. I don't know why there's a cherry picker up there. Ah! Oh, yeah, because she's on a cherry picker in Wicked when she's like, she's on a cherry picker. And that's a cherry. Can I just ask, by way of introduction, 
We all know you have an Annie Byrne book, but by any chance is there a Matilda one as well? <laughs> I, I wouldn't know. What's your favorite Instagram filter? Anything that makes me look like I'm airbrushed and perfect. Have you ever had a performance when the show had to stop? If so, why did it stop? Technical? Uh, yes, and it was technical. Um, we stopped a couple of times in previews. Um, sometimes if the school gates don't lock up, we have to, to stop um, the school desks if they don't all go down. Uh, they have really great safeties on them so nobody gets stuck under them. Um, a couple of times that's happened. Uh, all technical stuff and you know then um you hear ladies and gentlemen the performance will resume in a moment and then we fix it and then it goes back what's on the wormwoods tv screen oh you guys it is this creepy little girl it's one screen it's a creepy little girl with this totally creepy clown i have no idea what they're doing they're like just sitting there i'm gonna have to take a picture of it i'm gonna take a picture of it and show it to you and it's a clown and taylor has to stare at that all day all day Wait a minute, why is my Facebook profile picture your Instagram profile picture? How did you get that? Looks like somebody's gotta change their privacy settings on Facebook! How much do you love the Muppets? Come on. The Muppets are life. Um, I base all of my characters on various Muppets. Piggy. Were you or were you not in Times Square while I was in NYC because I thought I saw you and snapped a picture of you? I'm gonna steal your identity if that's cool with you. Nope. Who is your first friend in the show? Um, my first friend in the show was Philip Spaeth. Actually, before I even met him, I found out um, who some of the cast members were. I wanted to know who, um, obviously, Mr. Wormwood was and Rodolfo, and because Gabe was not on social media, um, I like totally stalked Philip and then found him on Twitter. And then we started talking on Twitter, and it was awesome. And so by the time I actually got to New York, so by the time So by the time I actually got to New York, I was like so excited to meet him. And I kind of felt like I knew him already because we had a little Twitter repartee. So that was fun. What role do you play in Matilda? The escape artist. What's your best advice to someone who wants to be as fabulous as you? Good luck. What are Broadway auditions like? Um, they're really the same as like any other audition. I think um you just have to like not freak out that it's like full Broadway. It's pretty much the same everywhere. I mean, it was the same when I was doing shows in high school. You go in, you sing your song, you read the scenes, you, you know, it's just, I think a little um, more pressure, I guess, um, but you really can't think of it that way. Otherwise you'll drive yourself crazy. I lie awake, I drive myself crazy. In sync, anybody? Anybody born around in sync time? Do you love potatoes? Fuck. Number one, will you be my friend? Number two, this isn't really a question, but you're my spirit animal. Number three, does your voice ever crack when doing the dynamic change for loud? That's three questions. Number one, will you be my friend? No. Number two, this isn't really a question, but you're my spirit animal. I um, would rather be your Patronus. Number three, does your voice ever crack when doing the dynamic change for loud? I don't know what the dynamic change is. I cannot be there. Does my voice ever crack? Absolutely. Whose does it? What show are you currently in? Are you serious? What is your favorite Robert Pattinson movie? You're going to think it's Twilight? It's not. Water for Elephants. Hot! If Robert came to see Matilda, what would you do? <laughs> Would you rather skydive or bungee jump? Neither. I'm so freaking scared of heights. Why would you jump out of a plane? Why would you suspend your body from a slinky? Werewolves or elves? Elves, as long as they were nice little like, we are sent as elves, like that kind of elves, not like the, the evil elves, you know, the evil, the evil ones that come and kill you in the night. What's your go-to audition song? Oh, that's a good one. Um, I have a couple. My Strongest Suit from Aida. I sing a lot. Uh, Gorgeous from the Apple Tree. I sing a lot. Yeah, I'm not telling you anymore. Because then you'll steal them. Show the kids more. I have. I do. How many times do I got to tell you? I can only show them so much. 
Shut up! Why aren't you allowed to do a lot of the filming of the kids? And why can't they come out the stage door? Um, they're just really protective of the kids, as they should be. And the reason that they don't come out the stage door is because they don't want kids to get used to signing autographs and having fans be like, you're amazing, you're amazing. And then when they're done with the show, they go back to regular life. And I think that it's um, a lot for a kid to handle, like having all this attention and then going back to regular life and there's nobody at your <laughs> front door being like, you're amazing, you're amazing. I think it's the smartest thing. I would never want them to come out the stage door. And that was a serious moment with the queen. If you were not an actress, what would you be instead? A uh, writer. Writer, not like a writer, not like a horse. Get a horse, but like a writer. How did you react when you found out you were in Matilda? Oh, there was nobody home. It was just me and Stu. And I like um, screamed and then I looked at Stu and I think he just like sniffed his butt. He was unenthused. If there was a guy selling a smoothie at a bicycle race, would you buy one? A, why would I go to a bicycle race? I would never, that's like the least sparkly thing. It's just like sweaty, gross. And B, I don't enjoy smoothies. How much do you love your fans? You guys are the best. Seriously, I have like the best. Cause rad, rad. What kind of dog would Mrs. Wormwood have? Wiener Wormwood, a little teeny weeny, little tiny blonde wig. Or like fabulous hats or something, yes. Are you interested in being Golda in the Fiddler revival? Do you think I'm that old? Oh my God. I'm getting Botox like right now. Golda? It's like 50. What's the best piece of advice you've gotten about acting from someone? Um, be real and, and do what you do. Don't do what anybody else does. Do what you do because nobody's like you. And uh, even if you're weirdo like me, uh, it's gonna just be you, be you, be you. Who's your favorite Disney character and which do you think you're most like? Uh, it's the same, Roger Rabbit. My dream is to be on Broadway. However, I live in a small town in Kentucky with no hope of being there. Do you have any tips for a Broadway dreamer? No hope. There's always hope. Don't say that. Don't say that. There's always hope. I'm telling you. Do not think that way. All right, now it's time for a scolding. Do not think that way. Never think that you'll never get somewhere. Never think that you won't achieve what you need to achieve. Do I need to come through the camera and smack y'all? Never think that way. You can do what you want to do. End of story. Storm. Do you prefer your toilet paper to unravel over the roll or under? I prefer it over. Thank you for asking. What's the one thing you know now that you wish you would have known at the start of your professional acting career? Ha, that's a good one. What do I wish I had known? I wish I would have known that it is not always about your talent. As much as you want it to be, the best person does not always win. <laughs> the best person doesn't always get the job. It's who's the most right for the job. Um, I mean, you could be like, have the most amazing voice, but that's not the voice that they hear in their head for that character. Um, you know, so it's not always about you. And that was really hard for me to learn in the beginning. I was like, I did my best, I was great, and I still didn't get it, what's wrong with me? I mean, sometimes they want a brunette and you're a blonde, and they don't wig you, you know, you don't know. It's, it's not about you, it's about me. Have you ever fallen on stage? Oh Lord, so many times have I fallen on stage. I've actually fallen off of a stage as well, totally. I was um, the worst one I ever had I was 16 and doing a show at a theme park in California. It was just me on the stage. And I was singing, ga -ga 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 -ga, and there was a spotlight on me. And I had to walk downstairs. And I went, ga -ga 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 -ga. fall. And then all you hear is, I'm okay. I'm okay. <laughs> and then I got up and finished. What did I tell you before? You finish your number. I got up and I finished. And then I hobbled off stage and I had a giant bruise. And I finished. Have you ever modeled before? Because you were really pretty. <laughs> Do you watch other Broadway.com vlogs? There are other Broadway.com vlogs? It's not just me?
Hello, may I speak to Paul, please? Paul on track, yes. Wait a minute! Can you follow me? Nope. Can you show us the new tildes? I already did. You're amazing. New tildes, please. I already showed them! Are you people not watching these vlogs? Why are you not allowed to film the kids? They are amazing. I've had it! Watch the vlogs! Watch the vlogs! You have so many cool editing features on your vlogs. What's the editing process like? Long! I edit these myself, you guys. Hours and hours to edit these. So when I'm up like all night editing and the first thing I see is like a tweet going, why didn't you show this? I want to strangle you. Who's your favorite superhero? Wonder Woman! She explodes. Wonder Woman! Oh my God, I'm so dizzy. I'm like so dizzy.